The story everyone's been tracking is the fate of the three men who are on death row for their conviction in the assassination of former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi and 17 other people. Just now, former Chief Minister Karna Nidhi has again well played a political game with this. He said that Chief Minister Jailalita should actually now use her powers to make sure that these men's lives are spared. It's become a huge political issue in Tamil Nadu. But far away from all this, somebody's watching this, somebody who feels that it's like her life depends on this, is a young 19-year-old girl, Haritra. She's the daughter of Murugan and Nalini. Nalini was also sentenced to death, but her sentence was commuted when Sonia Gandhi intervened. She's now uh, in life imprisonment in a Tamil Nadu jail. She's appealed to Sonia Gandhi that that be actually, uh, that she get an early release so she can meet her daughter. Also on death row is uh, Haritra's father, Murugan. Haritra joins me now live from the United Kingdom, from London. Haritra, this is a very emotional issue. I mean, on the one hand, are the families of those people who were killed, the former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, the families of uh, the victims uh, in, that, um, in that bombing which actually happened. Your father and mother are convicted in that. On the other hand, you're fighting for your father's life. You've appealed to the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister. You've appealed to Mrs. Sonia Gandhi. Tell us how this has been for you, for somebody who's actually had uh, her parents in jail fro uh, throughout your childhood. Since, like, I was really young, I didn't know them. Uh, but they write to me all the time. Like, I've started writing them, like, as soon as I learn how to write, like, mm -hmm. seven or eight. But then when I grow up, like, eight, nine, ten, like, I was, I was kind of mad at them. And, like, I kind of, like, I didn't hate them, but I was just really mad that why would they do such... Because I had... In, I didn't have a good childhood, like everyone bullied me, but some people, like half the people will bully me and half the people will feel sorry for me. And so both ways, it wasn't good at all. So I was kind of, uh, I wouldn't say it's like angry or anything. I was just disappointed. Why would my parents give me such a like horrible childhood and such a horrible life? Mm -hmm. So I saw him like when I was 12 at the first time. And I asked my dad so many questions. I started crying and mm -hmm. I've asked him, like, why would you do this to me? And what did I, like, as a daughter, I haven't done anything wrong. Why am I into such a, like, big punishment? Why am I going through all this mm -hmm. in my life? And he, he, he started crying and then he explained me so many things. Even I was 12. Mm -hmm. he, did, he did explain things that I could understand in that age. And it perfectly made sense to me, even though I was really, really young. And I, from that, I could tell you what it was, if you want to know. Yes. But from that, what I spoke to him, I truly believe that both of them were so innocent. And I don't know, like, I'm, I'm, I, I don't want to blame anyone, like, particularly. Mm -hmm. But I didn't, I didn't, I don't think at all that they're doing, they did this thing. I think they're truly innocent, and it's not fair to punish them. And they are my parents. I love them so much. They mean a lot to me. Mm -hmm. Like everyone else, I miss them all my life. Like 19 years, I, I've lived without them. But they, I write to them. Mm -hmm. I love them so much. So it's 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 a massive thing for me. I, I have to do it for them. I want them to be with me. I was I, I literally yearning for this, like, since I was uh, five, six, as, as soon as I got to know, like, you know, the world. Yes. I wanted to live with my parents. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.